<laughs> Sorry. Hi, um, my name is Karina Mompolis. Most of you guys don't know me because I've never held political office before. However, um, I've lived in Brockton my whole life for 16 years. I know the many struggles that most of us face. I know that our education system is at a decline. Although we have one of the highest funded education systems, right now we're working really low. Brockton used to be highly ranked in education, and right now we're not doing so well. We fired about 82 teachers last year, and who suffers at the end of that? Our students. We're overloading the classrooms with about 40 students, and all of those students have different learning styles. We're not implementing the No Child Left Behind Act, and because of that, we're failing them. The system is failing our students. Right now, we have one of the highest dropout rates, and that needs to change. And I'm not saying that I'm coming in here because I, I, I don't have all the answers. I don't know how to change a whole city by myself, but I know that as long as I have the right people in place behind me, I can make a difference. I, you have the opioid epidemic that's going out of hand. HIV has gone up, STDs have gone up, and all these issues are being neglected. Our streets are being over flooded with people that are being a bad influence to our, our, to our kids. And I'm not saying to rule them out, I'm saying let's help them. Let's help them be placed in a, let's help them, let's place them in a place that can help them out, help them get better because there are people that have fallen. We all have fallen in life. We all know how it feels to find ourselves at odds, to find ourselves in a dark room, to be in a room with no doors and have to break the walls to get out. And, all, and sometimes all we had was one person that reached out their hands and helped us out. So all we need is, all we need to do as a community is help the people that are less fortunate than us. And I believe that together as a community, we can grow, but as long as we, care for our neighbors. As long as we acknowledge that life is not about self-gratitude, but it's about the inkling of hope that we drop in someone's life just by help reaching out a hand, being a shoulder to cry on. And I believe I've, as, brought in, as a community, we're not going to grow. By, I, I'm not here to make promises because, like um, Mayor Rodriguez says, it's hard to come up here and make promises when you have no idea what's waiting for you on the other side. But I'm saying that I'm willing to try. I'm a fighter. I fought through cancer. I fought through depression. I fought through a lot of things in my life. And the thing is, through all of it, I have never given up. And because I know that I'm not a quitter, I know that I will not quit in this position. I am a super minority. I am 23 years old. I'm a black woman trying to make a difference. And I'm asking guys to give me the opportunity to make that difference. Because it does not matter if you're 40, if you're 12, if you're 13. Making a difference is not relevant to age. Success is not relevant to age, gender, or race. It's about the will, the determination, and the perseverance that you have to make a difference in your community. And I have that will, that determination, that perseverance right inside of me. And I'm asking guys to give me a chance I'm not asking you to trust me because I know that most of you guys don't trust me. And we're all politicians. We're all telling you, a lot of people are telling you that things that we want you to hear for you to vote for us. But I'm not asking you to trust me right now. I'm asking you to take a chance on me. And in two years, then you'll know whether you can trust me or not. Call me. Talk to me. Come to the, like, I'm, I'm here all the time. I'm a listener. So the thing is, I'm here to take in all your concerns. I mean, because I don't rule anyone out. And I hope that you guys don't rule me out. Thank you so much.